Hey guys, it's Rob here again today with another mechanical mod to do a review on. And this mechanical mod I did get from fluidvapes.com. I just wanted to try them out, see what their uh, shipping and everything is. So I ordered a few things from them and I did receive the items within about four business days after ordering the items. So they do have some real good shipping and they do have some real good prices on their clones. Now this here is a clone and this is mechanical mod and it is a stainless steel mechanical mod. Now this is supposed to be a one to one clone here so I have not had the original so I don't know if it's actually one to one or not. So anyway this mod is called the Slow Joe. Right here, the Slow Joe. Now this is, once again, a stainless steel body with copper accents on top and bottom. This does have an adjustable pin for battery rattle, and it does have copper accent rings, and it does have a magnetic, recessed magnetic firing switch on the bottom. So let's go down here on table <clears throat> and take this thing apart and check it out. Sorry guys, here is the box that did come in. I do not know the actual brand of the clone, but you can't say it's, see it says Celtic Mods right there. Unless Yep is the uh, manufacturer in China, I do not know. It says 2014 Mod, it's just a magnetic flip box here. Nothing in there. Just some insulation and the mod did come in there like that all right so once again this is supposed to be a one-to-one -one clone it does have stainless steel body copper accent rings mod it is a 22 millimeter device it does have an adjustable center pin for battery rattle it does have silver plated contacts and it has a recessed magnetic bottom firing switch so it does have these nice little uh, laser etched or engraving these are like an engraving, so you're not going to just wash them off or pot, clean them off or anything like that. That does say uh, Celtic Mods right there, nice little logo. And then on the bottom, it also has it engraved. It says Celtic Mods. This is 1177 serial number. And then over here, it does say Slow Joe 2014. So this is a real nice mod, it does hit, hit real nice. Uh, I have not done a voltage drop on this thing, so I don't really know what the voltage drop is on this. But it's real nice with the stainless steel and then the little copper ring on the bottom. And then you got your uh, switch, which I do believe this is like a, a, a brass. It doesn't actually match. The outer ring is a copper ring, and this doesn't match, so I do believe that's brass. And then you got your copper ring with a little, little brass ring at the bottom of that. So, real nice little sleek design. Now, <clears throat> this is only an 18650 mod or an 18500 mod. There is no 18350 options on this. It is a little short short mod, so it's kind of nice. It's about the size of uh, maybe the 4.9. So, let's go ahead and take this, break this down and take a look at this thing. This does not have a locking ring, and I thought it did. I didn't actually check to see if it said it had one or not. So I actually did gouge this up. I took some pliers to that to try to uh, get the lock, to try to get that to release. So this is not a locking ring. See, so as you can tell, I gouged it right there. So this is just a recessed magnetic switch on this. So let's go ahead and take this apart, take the top off. 18650 tube extension take the battery out and then we'll take the switch off so there you go it does have four pieces right there so you got your 18500 18490 and then you got your 18650 extension tube right there real nice clean threads nice and smooth this has just been one real nice clean mod here have not had any issues, no crunching, no grinding, no squeaking. So it's real nice. Nice threads. Nice center tube there. So you do have your battery venting here in the bottom of the Delrin on the switch here. It does go through the bottom. So 
Let's go ahead and uh, take this off. As you can see, that's silver plated contacts. Nice black dollar and insulator with your two battery vent holes in the bottom. And then you got your nice copper accent ring here with your brass switch. I have not had any issues with the switch. The switch just got a small throw, just barely throw it. It's easy to push. No issues whatsoever. So let's go ahead and take this apart here so you guys can see. This is magnetic. And there is the silver plated contact right there. Then we take the bottom off. And as you can tell, it is magnetic in there. And you got your, as you can tell over there, you got your battery venting comes right around the magnet, magnet right there. So, real nice, and I do believe that is brass. Easy throw, not too hard, not too loose. So, since this does not have a locking ring, I don't recommend putting this in your pocket. If you have other stuff in there, like some change or anything like that, you could fire that switch because it's pretty easy to fire. So here is the top here. This is not a floating 510. It does have this white Dellern insulator that if you put your Addy on there and you crank it down real tight, it will push that white Dellern insulator out so you can get your Addies to sit flush. All right. And then you have your silver plated contact once again. And this one is for battery adjustment. Nice and smooth. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and stick up. And then here is the top. So you're not going to be able to run regular tanks with side air holes, air flow in there because this does not have any uh, grooves for uh, tank breathing. But it does have this nice little brass little design right there inside the copper. It looks real nice together. And you can tell this pin is silver plated. So you just thread that on down there. Now that is tight. Uh, when I first got it, I did have a big gap in this. I really had to crank that down to get it to sit f as flush as possible. And it pushed out the white Dellern insulator. So let's go ahead and put this back together here listen to that nice and smooth I mean nothing nothing it's just it's just smooth thread smooth as butter and it's almost kind of got like the seamless design here as you can tell there's the seam and then it's gone real nice real nice little mod here Easy switch, no issues whatsoever with the switch. No matter where I hit this, this baby fires. So let's bring this back up the top, vape on it, talk a little bit more. So alright guys, that is the Slow Joe Celtic mod there, the one-to-one -one clone. And this did come once again from Fluid Vapes, I will put a link in the description down below. So you can check out their website. Real nice little website. They got quite a few little items. They got tanks, RDAs, Addies. Uh, they got coils, stuff like that. Uh, they got your Sigali 100 watt box mod. They got all kinds of different devices. So I recommend checking them out. Quick shipping, four days of shipping, business days, uh, some decent prices. And yeah, I mean... From just this one right here, they got some nice mods. Good, nice quality for a clone for from their company. So, all right, guys, till next time.